But should I play backgammon and just totally lose because I don't remember how to play? Because yes. Alex really wants us to play backgammon. Do backgammon. Alright. I could tell you how to play it, but I'm not going to. You... But who am I playing backgammon against? Why don't we do the same guys again? No, it's just one person. See ya, Fast Eagle. Um, I will contact you later uh, once the other two have picked to talk about, like, delivering and stuff, so... Um, there you go. I play against somebody from a game that we didn't pick anyone from. Like, we didn't pick any Space Quest dudes. Uh, Arnoid. Arnoid. He's an expert at backgammon. Let's not pick him. Mordak. Mordak is average. Roger is also an expert at backgammon. Apparently he and... Man, is nobody a beginner at this game? Baba Yaga. Let's get her. <laughs> well, you got the high roll, dearie. Oh, yeah. I see you're playing the Baba Yaga. I mean, the backgammon. I was born back in the backgammon. Okay. Molded by it. This is how... <laughs> why is Baba Yaga suddenly Bane? Uh, I don't know. I'm living a chicken heart, Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, pieces advance from one point to another. I literally don't remember how to play backgammon, so I'm just looking at this. Uh, I got eight, I guess. So, mm. tisk tisk, that plays invalid. Tut tut, it looks like rain. Why is it playing invalid? Or am I? Oh, I'm going the other way, aren't I? Who are you, brown or white? I'm uh, brown, I think. Yeah, you wait. No, piece of brown. Now sit down. There we go. So it tells you. Ah, <laughs> look, she did a goofy little dork face. I can't um, see your face. Tell me. Tell me your favorite backgammon story. The first and last time I played backgammon was against my sister, like, two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, have, I have a backgammon set that's been sitting in my room for a long time in one of these uh -huh. little cases. I uh -huh. got them at DI because I use them for, like, pencil boxes and stuff. Nice. But I'm like, I'll just play actually backgammon with this because my sister likes to play it. So she taught me how to play. Did she totally win? Uh, <laughs> I don't remember who won. Did she look and then like... I, I did play against... I think Thaniel played with us. And maybe Mia. I'm not sure. Okay. Did she look like the Baba Yaga? Is that what you're <laughs> trying to say? Does she have a blue bathrobe and, like, blue lipstick or whatever's going on there? Just so happens. Alex's father taught him over 30 years ago, so it's like a... Passion dairy. Too bad. Um, So it's like a family, like, I feel like... It's a special moment. Feel like you're horning in on his family. I'm tradition. horning in on his family dinner. Mmm, I have a nice slice of backgammon and parsnip pie. Mm. Uh, one, two, three, four. I guess I can do that guy. Urgh. So the the I, I I said this earlier, but I'm not sure it made it into the main video. Uh, the Hoyle Book of... Ooh, I got doubles. Uh, let's see. The Hoyle Book of what's nows? The Hoyle Book of Games is, um, something that Sierra did. Uh, they, they came out with, with three, and I already said the three. It was, um, card games, solitaire games, um, and then this one with board games. And they came out with a fourth one that had a lot of, like, characters from slightly later Sierra that I kind of I don't have it but I kind of want to look at it one of these days because it's got like Willie Beamish in it who exactly you don't know who that is but he's it's from a, it's Willie Beamish is a game I want to play uh, like sometime in the way um no but yes oh wait that's Buzz Beamer Buzz Beamer it's a comic strip from Sports Illustrated oh not the swimsuit edition the regular edition. Right, right, I get it. Sports Illustrated for kids. Oh, that's, that's cute. Um, no, 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 it's, it's, Willie Beamish's game that was actually published by Dynamics, or made by Dynamics, but published by Sierra. Where I'm it's, glad you mentioned that, because I know what that is. You don't. You well, explain it. 
Um, it uh, it's really Dynamics was a company that was in I think Washington, and they they were associated with Sierra for a long time. Ag. Not um, Ag. Yaga. Baba Yaga. Okay, explain more. Uh, hold on. I have to get these out. I'm... Um... Sorry, I'm thinking about backgammon and the fact that Baba Yaga keeps screwing me over. Ah, Somebody's uh, gotta do it and might as well be the Baba Yaga. My... <laughs> I just imagine her roaming the Russian countryside in her chicken huts and people are thinking like, Oh no, she'll eat my children! But she really just makes them play backgammon. <laughs> Which is probably a fate far worse. I'll tell you a couple things about the Baba Yaga. Okay, here actually, we go. knowing something. And then I'll talk about Willie Beamish. She lives in the chicken butt house. I mean, the chicken foot house. Right. And she would fly around. When she's not in that, she flies around in a giant mortar and pestle. You. And she goes to, like, this is people's houses good. and counts their spoons. <laughs> really? Yes. And uh, I, I know a lot of this, well, just from knowing some myths, like Russian myths, but also because she she's a big uh, character in uh, the Hellboy comic series. Uh-huh. Except in that, she counts, like, the fing people's the fingers of corpses or something like that. Gross. And gets in a fight with Hellboy, and he shoots her eye out. <laughs> he yeah, shoots her eye shoots out? Her eye. Like, yeah, like, because like well, he carries a gun, you know. He shoots right. her eye out. Like a Red Rider BB gun. Um... And yeah, a Willy Beam, it was an adventure game that's the style is very different from normal Sierra games because yeah. it's technically published by a different company, just uh, distributed by Sierra. But it, it stars a nine year old kid named Willy Beamish. But it has, it's like the tagline is, What if you were nine again, knowing what you know now? And so it's got some uh, weird, like, not like, well, it's got a little bit of adult humor, but not like um, Leisure Suit Larry humor. But it's, it's um, definitely made for. Uh, old, slightly older audiences though it came out when I was nine so when it was like what if you were nine again I was like I'm nine now <laughs> who cares <laughs> so uh, but but it's really fun I, 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 it's um, basically it's it's a nine year old kid who really wants to get to the Nintari championships ooh I always wanted to do that it's, when I was a kid it's like right next to the Intellicalica Navision Instruments. Intellicalica. 64. 64. And a half. Yeah, you can tell this is an old-fashioned uh, backgammon game because it makes you actually uh, count your dice instead of just being like, here are the three spots you can go and like highlighting them. You actually have to do it like a somebody who has a brain. <laughs> Back when you had to think in video games by, you know, counting your dice rolls. Back when they had these great stories like this backgammon game does. Yeah, no, there's a great story in this game. It goes like this. The Baba Yaga roamed the Russian countryside to play parlor games with your children and then eat them if they lost. It's it's like uh, it's like doing the, the game with death, you know, to bargain for your soul. But, um... The game is backgammon. Shouldn't the Baba Yaga, if she's like roaming in the Russian countryside, shouldn't she have Magda's voice? You think Quest so. Quest for Glory 4. Dreams mean something. Maybe they don't. I don't know. Whatever. Your Baba Yaga is in Quest for Glory 4. Where she's oh, like, yeah. Oh, shall we get some Groo Groo or Elderberry Pies? <laughs> you know, she was in my tele favorite television series as a kid. Um, Yo, Baba Yaga. <laughs> that, first of all, the one that that came from came out when you were like 20. What do you know? I know how old you are. Oh, right. And it's not old, young. Select a game. It's not young enough. Here, I'm going to play oh. dominoes with... My gosh, it's dominoes march. Domin, 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 dominoes. With someone great. Like Great Chang. Great Chang, uh, his closest equivalent is Roger Wilco. <laughs> That's the closest thing to Great Chang. Why not? Um. So, like I, like I said earlier, we were originally going to do Final Fantasy VII tonight. And we're instead of going to do it on Monday, so stick around for that. 
But the but we've got like the PC version of it. Uh, it's the Steam on, version. It's the Steam version. Steam ported the old ninety eight PC version. Right. Ah, dang it. Anyway, you were saying? Uh, I'm trying to stump Roger Wilco. I didn't do it. Um, and we were just having some technical issues with it. We we're also thinking of doing police quest tonight, but uh, I'm still f I'm still not hundred percent sure I want to do police quest. Come on, man! <laughs> It'll be great. You'll be out on the police beat. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's a fun game. I'm just wondering what you're going to doodle. Are you going to doodle the prostitutes or the bloody murders? Possibly both. You said there's hardly any of that. There, okay. Well, there's hardly any of that to doodle. Because really, you're taking the it's funny thing is originally I didn't want to play it. True. I took the opposite thing. So <laughs> it's just whatever I choose, you, you're just contrary. All right. Do you guys want me to play Police Quest tonight? I'll do it. I can tonight? do it. Well, no, it's a little late. It's almost like nine. We'll we'll do police quest eventually. Yeah. <laughs> no, what I was actually thinking of doing tonight, and uh, you tell me if you think it's a good idea or not. Ah. Right. Um. Well, first, Roger Wilco was laughing at me, and then like, "You're a real pant load. Maybe I'll murder him with acid after he loot after he wins." <laughs> Burn his legs off with acid. I might burn his legs I'm disabled. off. Disabled. <laughs> ah. How many FF7 fans we got out there in chat? Um, I hope there's quite a few. Did any of you watch the trailer we posted on Facebook? It's wetting your appetite. It was the old commercial from '97. One of the old commercials. Right. And it's important to watch that beforehand. Apparently, it's. It it's... is important for what I'm going to be talking about. <laughs> Sorry, Roger Wilco had a conniption fit there for a second. Which I appreciated. I was going to say something else. Dang it, Roger Wilco, why did you do it? Um, Alex says, I wanted to name Maya Nanaki. Nanaki. I'm probably saying Nanaki it wrong. is Nanaki, thank you. Is a name from FF7. Okay. It's this shows you how much I don't know about FF7. This is why he's going to be playing it. Eh. His dog is named Maya in real life. Oh. There's an animal type character named Minaki. Gotcha. In Final Fantasy VII. You want to you know something cool? I think... That should be... Uh, I think there's a way to... Um, to like change the board so it looks slightly different. Uh, nope. Uh, Tim is a fan, obviously. Well, yes. <laughs> I was going to talk about Tim and my experience with it, too. No, but I was I was thinking tonight, because we... we, we played one reason I wanted people to watch that trailer. Right. We played it a little bit last night, and I was thinking of just playing it tonight. Not making it like a player and doodler big thing or project or anything I'm going to do with YouTube. We're going to play Terraria? Yeah, why not? And just and just and just have the stream on and not even work, you know. And you guys can still chat, and we might say things, but it won't be like a player and doodler project. It'll just be, you know, stream a Terraria just for kicks. All right. I, Do I get to play? Yeah. You okay, get to good. play too. Because we won't be recording, so you can use that computer. We'll just be streaming and having fun. What do you guys think? We're not We're recording our quips, dude. No, we'll. Well, it'll be on Twitch. It won't be a thing that I edit. That's what I just said. Yeah, but how are we going to... Am I just going to sit next to this mic? No, we'll still be using the interface. Like, our, our, your voice will still be going over the chat. Okay. Over the stream. I was trying to figure out what's going on here. <laughs> what's going on? Why don't you... Don't worry about these two number time. Also did a... Um, uh, apparently, uh, Doodler has the sniffles, and so we're... That's another reason why I don't want to play for super late tonight. It's possible that we stayed up too late playing Terraria <laughs> last night. And by possible, mean, I mean it's an absolute certainty. Yeah, that kind of happened. So Roger Wilco! This space janitor is kicking my butt at dominoes. I think for, ever, 
you know, for for every vlog we have in the future now, I should just be playing some dumb game of dominoes or something while we're uh, vlogging. That way, that way there's something more visually interesting than my giant head. I was thinking about, you know, having something going on during the vlog, too. That's a good idea. But, you know, but not like anything like uh, super crazy, just kind of a kind of a little fun. Yeah, you could be playing Minesweeper. <laughs> just pull up a bunch of dumb uh, shareware games. Right. Well, well you can be... play Free Cell. <laughs> you can play Skipbo. <laughs> Skipbo. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I'll tell you one thing about Roger Wilco. He's a real pant -load. He is kicking my butt at Nintendo. I mean, at <laughs> Domino's. Thanks, Millhouse. Yeah, just Look keeps... at that big cheesy grin. Ding. Ding. I know. That's what that's what Volhall wants to punch in the face. I hate you, Roger Wilco. Your domino playing skills are above reproach. <laughs> Therefore, I shall murder your planets. And marry your cousins. Um. Look at him laughing. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Dissolve you in acid, Roger Wilco. Oh, yeah. Now when you say dissolve you in acid, I understand what you're saying. Right. That's from, uh... Space Quest 4. Yeah. Yeah. That's when I draw... I drew and then drew again. Right, because we had the codes on we it. We had the failed recording of that one. Um, Is that the one with the space hippo? Space hippo? Yeah, the one that you're like, that's not a hippo. No, that, like, it's a hippo bear. No, that was, uh, that was Space Quest 2. It was uh, the... They all run together. Where it was like, a, supposed to be a Sasquatch. And I called it a... Sp <laughs> called yeah, it a hippo bear. Space hippo bear, which is the incorrect thing to call it. If you ask me, I think it's the most correct thing to call it. Yeah, so that's why we're playing Domino's tonight, is because um, Final Fantasy had some tech issues. So. We had some tech issues, and I didn't want to be sniffling through the entire thing if I was leading the, the stream. So also true, so that is why this is happening. But no, we'll, we'll pull up Terraria and just have some fun with it, and you guys can follow along or not, or whatever. Besides, Terraria is what all the kids are watching today, right? Right, and Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, we could we could uh, team up with Matt Pat and target ten-year-olds or whatever. That... Target ten-year-olds with our guns. Wait, what? Roger won the game and is playing this triumphant thing over and over again. I win! It's the only thing I've ever won! Okay, we're done playing that. So, uh, we're going to take a, a quick break, and oh, then... Oh, what about Doodles? Oh! We're going to do doodles, and then me, we'll take... Give me two seconds. Okay, those two seconds, I will play something real quick. Please just, select the game. Just about finish this. Uh, what's a quick thing I can play? I guess dominoes. I want to show off the checkers, though, because the checkers is kind of fun. And we'll uh, pop in there, let's say, Mother Goose. Um, because you can uh, make them frogs. Ooh, Frogger Goose. Uh, Yo, Baba Frogger. And it's kind of fun. I'll show you what happens. I'm not going to play the series today. I just want to show you what happens when a frog jumps into the frog. And they jump into the, the drink. It's kind it's of Pacific fun. Pacific Coast Highway. Ribbit. I wish you could, like, talk to them during the game, click on them, and have them say things. But nope, they're just <laughs> sitting there. Click on one. I slept with your wife. <laughs> this is Mother Goose we're talking oh. about. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> ribbit, ribbit, I've got this song from Link's Awakening. <laughs> uh, Tim's asking if we've ever played Kingdom Hearts. Um, the I ha Sorry, go ahead. I have. I played through... The, I didn't... I've never finished any of them. I played through most of the first one and a teeny bit of the second one. I've played through some of the first one, but then realized this is one of those RPGs again, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> one of those RPGs? Well, like a square RPG. There's one reason, like, I haven't gone back to a lot of them, except for now we're doing FF7. Right. Because I put so much effort into some of those early ones that I'm like, I don't got time for them anymore. Right. I'm terrible at checkers, just so you know. I just want you to be aware of the fact that... I just didn't have 100 free hours to spend on each, each one of them anymore. Right. But Kingdom Hearts is a pretty cool game, though. Yeah, it's fun. Um... I spent a lot. Oh, that was dumb of me. Actually, no, it wasn't. It was good. I spent a lot of time um, making like a uh, making a cake. No, doing the old. Um, uh, was it the gummy ship? Because I thought that was fun. That's all. I don't know what you're talking about, but I can assume. I wanted to go to the Tron level. That looked cool. Ooh, I Tron. like Tron. Oh, crad. 
Well, that's gonna be a king frog. Ready for the king frog? It'll look like what the heck? King frog. Didn't Graham get turned into a frog? Um, yes. In if he doesn't bring the if he doesn't wear the amulet into the evil forest, he gets turned into a frog. And the game is like that old witch caught you toad. Totally off guard. Totally unexpected. Oh, goody, I'm a king. That was Mother Goose. You're a king. <laughs> Have more personality, Mother Goose. At least do it in rhyme. Come on. You'd like. The frog hopped on the pad. The frog then was sad. The frog became the king. The frog we began to sing. No, what's the, what's the Link's Awakening song? <laughs> Worst song ever made. Uh, uh -oh. Well, the song was made by a frog. I don't know if you can hold it to as high a standard as some other things. I do hold it to high standards. It was the frog's first work, okay? So <laughs> we judge it differently. I don't think we should. I think... Frogs... Oh, crap! I, th I was expecting the other one to jump. Well, I'm a stupid head. Whatever. I'm going to lose this game of checkers while you're still doodling. Are you done doodling? Pretty much. I guess I could draw frogs. I don't Dude, have to. I have drawn those before. No, I'm just going to lose this game real quick. I haven't really been, like, paying too much attention to it. I'm just kind of moving whatever looks good. Frogga Yaga. Frogga Yaga. Ooh, I can jump again. Look at me. Actually, I might win. Look at this. Oh my, that was a good move. The Look fro out, Sir Frog. The player made a good move. The player was a cool dude. Uh... The players... Player moved in with your aunt. Now he's in the mood. Now he hit me on the slant. Uh, what do I do now? I'll move that way. Oh, we're going to have this old... Uh... This old house with Bob No, Hill. we're just... It's... We're... Hey, he's cornering me. Oh, he's not cornering me. Now I don't know what to think. This frog has cornered me, gold grimy! <laughs> I don't really care about this game of checkers, but I'm still playing it. Whatever. It's whatever. Um. Instead of just a lily pad background, I wish they had done each square as a lily pad. That would have been cute. Or every other, I suppose it would have to be. You know, right. Like the black squares. Oh, I see. I knew it was happening. Well, this is going to go on forever until until I intentionally lose the game. Um, so should I just intentionally lose the game? Might as well. Aha! Ribbit. Rabbit. Robbit. Robert of its goodness. There we go. Female bandits. <laughs> what next? Female magnets. Bandits. Oh. You said Robert of its goods. I thought Robin Hood. Right. Well. There we go. Now it's just king versus king. Get over here, you. Whatever. I don't care. Just win, Mother Goose. You played a good game. You win the next one, I'm sure. Ha 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 ha! Alright, we're done playing Zaggers. Um, thank you for watching Royal 3, and special thanks to our bingo winners. So, congratulations.